Thanks for spreading those chains to the podcast here on the YouTube and the Clubhouse app. We want to say thank you to both audiences for rocking with us because we wouldn't be where we are without you. So we definitely want to say thank you. We try to bring you nothing but premium content for what's going on on the app and what's also going on across the world. We also bring you our own exclusive content where we have a wide range of debates about sports, politics, music, relationships, all of the above. We are here to serve you. So please like, subscribe, and share our YouTube. Hit the bell at the top for notifications of all our latest videos. You're rocking with the best. Remember, there's only one straight no chases. My mom do it. So for me, it's just that's what I do. I, I, I serve my husband dinner. Now, see what I'm saying? Like that, I don't have a problem with if it's if it's fair. You know what I'm saying? We and and my, and, and my wife is right. Like I will, like I will do majority of the cooking. But I even with doing majority of the cooking, I still I still feel like this is narcissistic thinking. If I'm sitting here saying to myself, well, since I do all the cooking, or I did all the cooking, at least you can do is make the place. That that is a form of being a narcissist, even if int- I'm not intentionally saying but I, that. But I think it's a you difference what between what you're saying and the understanding. It's like you have an understanding, though. It's not like you just have an expectation. No, that's true. That's why I say when shit like this, man, when I get to thinking about shit that made me uncomfortable, that's why I bring it to the table because that's how I be feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm being a little narcissist when I do that. Even though, yeah, I do a lot of the cooking and shit, that don't mean that my wife is entitled to now serve me like I'm some king on the throne or some shit like that. And I do think that that type of mentality, we got to really stop. You know what I'm saying? We really got to stop that shit. Um, it's different, yeah. You're in a relationship, and it's like you said, it's 100 100, 50 50. That's that's that, that's a little different. I mean, y'all teamwork, that's partnership. That's a, you know what I mean. When it's just lopsided, you know, and then a man expects, even if a man expects because he did A, a B, and C, he expects her like she's entitled to, like those that type of language, that type of energy, that type of vibe. I think that's what we really need. We need to put a halt to that type of shit because women do just as much shit as we do. You know what I'm saying? And when you're in a relationship, it is a partnership. So if I do something for you, I should not always do something for you and expect you to do something back. And in a case, I think if you look at it, that's kind of what that is saying. Like, yeah, I went in here and I cooked and I did this and that. So now I'm gonna sit down because I expect you to go in there and serve me my plate. You know what else you're showing the definition of? You know what else you're showing the definition of and the difference between? You're showing the difference between love and lust, bro. Elaborate on that, please. Because like, when you love somebody, you're gonna do everything for that person, no matter what. When you in lust, it's gonna come with stipulations and expectations. Respect, respect. Anybody in the go, please come up. Uh, I know you, tra- is that traumatic? traumatic? I, I, I was just reading your comments. Please come up to the stage if you can and talk about it. It's a safe space, no judgment here. Um, just so you know, this title is, 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 is personal because it, it explains me and my situation with my wife. So uh, we don't duck no face in this room. Um, everything on the table, but we do it respectfully. But Case Moore, you brought up an interesting point, love and lust. See, because I love my wife. You know, I know my wife loves me, and the reason she does the things she does for me is because of love for me. But then you can also look at it like when a person knows a, a person loves them that much, they can take advantage of them. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that this is that situation where I'm taking advantage of her or a person is taking advantage of someone that, that loves them, but that's where it gets, it, the waters is choppy for me. You know what I mean? Because now how much of a, how much are you using a person's love against them by making them do or asking them to do things that, you know, normally shouldn't be their job. If you got two arms, two legs and ass, you can do it yourself. Why is it that, you know, you put that requirement on that person because they love you, you get what I'm saying? So it, 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 love and lust is a, is a real thing, but we also use people's love against them too. You know what I mean? That's true. CC, welcome to the room, CC.
I think for me, where I would view it as a narcissistic thing is, for example, if say I cook dinner and I dish up me and I dish up the kids and I go sit down and then you get pissed off because I didn't dish up you and made comments or, you know, got showed frustration or whatever, then I would see that as being a narcissistic thing. But I don't think that I think if I think that that's where it would be an intentional narcissistic thing. But if it was just a, you know, well, damn, babe, where's my plate? In a in a joking type manner, I I don't think. You say. say what? Yeah, I agree with you, Krista. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? But um, hey. I, hi, Cece. I, I agree with you. That is narcissistic. Right. And right. That, yeah, and that's where I would view it as an intentional narcissistic thing. But, you know, if it was if it was just something where, you know, I dished up me and I dished up the kids or whatever, and I went and sat down and then, you know, my husband got up and was like, okay, well, let me just go get my own plate. <laughs> you know, I don't know that that would be for me. I wouldn't feel as though that's a narcissistic thing unless, you know, unless something is said to me to be mean because, you know, well, fuck you, you didn't get my plate, so fuck you, or whatever, then that's going to be narcissism, because then you're expecting that I'm going to get your plate. That's, that's how I view it. You agree, Cece? Yeah, and that way, what she's talking about, I agree. Okay. I agree with that, too. A man could also turn around and say how that was selfish of you to make everyone else place everybody else's play that I'm on. You can also, you know what I mean? So you can also say that too. Like that was selfish. Like if I was if I was to do it, I'd make everybody's play. For you to go in there and just make your play the kids play and not me. What does that say about how you feel about me? But, right. But, and then, now is that being is that being narcissist if he flipped it that way? Because there's truth in that, isn't it? I mean But in that moment. Sorry, go ahead, Case Move. I mean, but what if in this situation, the person that cooked had back pain or, or leg pain and had to go sit down for a second, and they wanted to make your play, but they just couldn't in that moment, and you said what you had to like, you said something wrong. Right, I was trying to say, I was trying to avoid that because it, because it, <laughs> if we were talking it for real, for real, like how we really are, that usually be the case. Like I cook and then you know, cause I, I got I got arthritis and, and hip issues and shit. So a lot of times I and I do a I, I don't just warm up box shit. Like when I cook, I cook. I really get down. So I be on my feet a lot and I'm doing a lot. So a lot nine out of ten, I'm really just like, man, I'm dumb, go sit my ass down and recoup so I can eat this shit I just cooked. But I'm just saying, like on a, without the health issues and all that, just the entitlement in it that's why i wanted to focus on the entitlement so i had another room scheduled i don't know if i'm gonna open it or not because i don't know how many people gonna really want to come in there and, and conversate about that see i be wanting to do these real topics but people don't want to talk about the real shit they want to talk about the drama shit but i want to also bring this up and tie this into what we're talking about women should watch their tone when arguing with men how many people in this room agree with that women should watch their tone while arguing with uh, men, can can I can I say something? Hell yeah! I think that women and men should watch their tone while arguing Thank with you. each other. Oh, Thank you. I was gonna say that exact same we thing. We can't just but do you, one side with it, bro. It don't work. But you hear on here a lot. You hear on here like like a woman should know her place. A woman should stay in her fucking place. But that, but that, a lot of that, com a lot mean. of that comes from those rooms that they be in, where they deal with the same thing that you're saying, just in reverse. And I'm gonna say that in that situation, when, to me, hearing the statement "a woman should stay in her place" is very demeaning to women, and in in my opinion, that shows a narcissistic man. Because a man who feels like a woman should be below them or unequal to them, behind them, is a narcissist. And I can say the same thing would happen for females because females can say the same thing about men. Well, you're behind me, you're below me, whatever. And to me, that's narcissism. That's narcissism. There should never be a time where a man or a woman should be put in above 
or excuse me, behind the other. It's always an equal thing. So for me, I absolutely hate the statement that a woman should know their place because my place is next to my husband, not in front of and not behind him, but right next to him. That was deep. Sorry. I brought that topic up and I like I brought that topic up and I like that topic because I was listening to a room the other day with someone that's well known in the app and he's the alpha male and he got into it with a female who's an alpha female. And they had words and words was exchanged. Shit got heated. And in my opinion, I posted it on YouTube too. Y'all can go check it out by the way. And I asked the question in the in the in the video. Did well, who was that? Was he was this person out of line because he called her a bitch after they had they, they exchanges and shit? And he called her a bitch and said they she needed to stay and she needed to learn her place. You know, what I'm saying you don't talk to no man like that. If my mama was to talk to me like that, I wouldn't fuck with her no more. It's so you know, what I'm saying there's just certain things you just don't you, you just don't say and you don't do. My argument to that is I know that that's the traditional way of thinking and, and being, but. I think a lot of these women are alpha females too. So are you saying that an alpha female should bow down to you just because you're a male? Even though she, she, think... she packing she packing more juice than you, but since she's female, she should ultimately submit to you as a man just because you're a man. That's what got foggy for me that's crazy but that's the way we were raised and the way our thinking process was back then but this is 2022 now women out here are alpha females too and and they run and they they were back in the day too you just don't hear about it because you know his his story is told but women have always been in the front always been in the front you just don't hear about it now in today's day they is out there so if a, if an alpha female is standing her ground, holding down her throne, and you a male trying to oppose that, and she stands her ground, I don't think that's wrong. I don't think she should submit and uh, stay in her place. But a lot of people didn't, you know, a lot of people look at it in a different way. But I definitely feel like that's something that we need to uh, communicate. But again, I had these topics and people don't want to talk about this real shit. They want to talk about the drama shit. But how do you feel like that? Should a, should a woman ultimately submit to a man in an argument? Like she should know her place. So I'm going to speak mm. up and say no, absolutely not. If a woman is is having an argument with a man, a woman, a clown, a dog, I don't care what it is. If they need to stand their ground, because that's part of why society puts women at a lower level is because women don't stand their ground. And so for women to to be able to gain that um empowerment we have to stand our ground no matter who it is we have to stand up if we are standing on on our feet and saying what we believe it whether it's an argument or not we don't we don't submit we need to stand our ground but not be demeaning and not be belittling in doing it I totally agree with you, Crystal sis. Like, cause it, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of strong women out here that don't that don't need a man for anything, just for support. And I feel like us, like us, as, as the as the uh, the head of the household, or the, you know, or have 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 people want to call it. We should be, our job should be able to support women more, like support their dreams, support their careers, instead of be like, oh, you're going to work. I, is it, but is that label head of household, could that be demeaning to some women? I know. Mm, I don't know. That's a good <laughs> question, though. Like, I saw a thing on a show I was just recently watching and it was a couple and the, the lady in, in, on this show was talking about 
her household and how it was when she was growing up and how her parents were. Um, and she had stated that her in her household, her dad was the head and her mom was the neck and that she wanted that in her relationship. And I think that that is like, for me, that really stood out because I feel like for me, that's how I want it in my relationship and my marriage as well, because I feel like the neck supports the head. So me as a wife, I want to be able to support my husband and know that my husband is going to ultimately be the protector, but is going to support and work with me to make things cohesive. 